When it comes to Asus laptops, the VivoBook line has always offered the best bang for your buck. But this year, it's not just about value for money. There's a big shift happening in the world of Windows laptops, and the new Asus VivoBook S15 is a key player in that wave of change. But why is this laptop such a big deal? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So if you're a lover of PCs, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right Windows laptop to meet your needs. In this video, we'll put the spotlight on the new Asus VivoBook S15. So, what's the big deal about the Asus VivoBook S15? Instead of using an Intel or AMD processor, it's one of the first laptops in the world powered by the new Snapdragon X Elite from Qualcomm. This new chip has an architecture closer to mobile phones than traditional laptops. And while this isn't Qualcomm's first foray into laptop products, Snapdragon X Elite is said to have power that can now rival Apple's M-chip-powered MacBooks. Both Apple's M-chip and Snapdragon X Elite use the ARM architecture for their CPUs instead of the x86 architecture. The latter prioritize higher performance, but also consumes more power. So it is the go-to for computers, especially those that require heavy workloads like video editing and gaming. ARM chips are smaller and designed to be power efficient, making these chips ideal for mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. But recent developments have made them powerful for PC applications also. The Mac transitioned to using Apple Silicon three years ago, so Mac users like me have enjoyed the benefits of ARM chips on computers for a while now. This is why the Snapdragon X Elite platform is game-changing for Windows users, and why the new VivoBook S15 is special also. That said, it's worth pointing out that unlike what Apple is doing on the Mac, Windows isn't transitioning to ARM, at least not yet. So for now, ARM is just an option like x86. And as such, developers will also need to step in and optimize for ARM-based chips. That is slowly happening. That said, the future looks bright, and these are just growing pains to be expected from a first-generation device and processor. The Asus VivoBook S15 is also a Microsoft Copilot Plus PC, meaning it can run AI tasks on device instead of just on the cloud. There's a dedicated Copilot key over here so you can easily access these AI tools. And I love that accessibility is one of their first use cases. Live captions provide automatically generated speech captions for users who are deaf or hard of hearing, as well as real-time translation for audio content spoken in different languages, which is great for those YouTube videos in a foreign language that don't come with translations. But just so that we can compare accuracy, we also tried it with Japanese and Spanish shows on Hulu and Netflix, but the results weren't as accurate. There's also Code Creator, where we can take some rough sketches on paint and turn them into something closer to a finished artwork. And if your sketches are really bad, don't worry, you can add text prompts too. For example, I want to draw a panda eating bamboo in the middle of a bamboo forest. I'm not sure if my sketch is good enough, so let's add the text prompt too. And there you go. There are different styles that you can choose from, anime, cyberpunk, and more. For video calls, there's also Windows Studio Effects with a bunch of features including eye contact, which ensures that your gaze is on the camera even while you're reading from the screen during a presentation. Portrait light and portrait blur help illuminate and put visual focus on your face, especially when you have a busy background. Lastly, there's a feature called Recall. Coming soon, it basically retraces your online activity so that you could say, find files, images, and websites easier using any clues that you remember. Asus also has its own suite of AI apps, including StoryCube, which can help you organize your photos and video footage. It's also got AI noise canceling, which is perfect for video calls. Say you're like me and want to enjoy as much of your outdoor space this summer. So this is what it sounds like. I don't know if you can hear, but there's an ice cream truck driving around playing some really loud music. As you can see from the trees, it's actually pretty windy. And there's also a lot of traffic downstairs, including a school bus. <laughs> How does that sound like? Let me know down below. 
The Asus VivoBook S15 has a very minimal look and an all aluminum build, making it extremely light, even lighter than the new 15 inch MacBook Air. It's thin too, just at 14.7 millimeters, but not too thin, so you still get a full array of ports, including two USB C ports, two USB 3.2 Type A ports, full sized HDMI 2.1 a micro SD card reader, and an audio jack. So despite all of that and a rather large 15.6 inch display, it's still portable. So much so that I decided to take it with me on a recent long haul flight from New York to Shanghai. I made sure to get some work done at the lounge. I loved using this extra large touchpad and there are smart gestures available for quick settings. Swiping from the upper right corner, you can adjust brightness while the left side adjusts volume. And going from left to right allows you to scrub through a video. While I'm not a guy in finance with a trust fund and blue eyes, I think some people will appreciate having a numpad built in. Our plane had Wi-Fi available, but I wanted to finish most of my work in emails before boarding. That way I could just sit back, relax, and watch some episodes of the latest season of Bridgerton. Look at this OLED display. It's stunning. Definitely not a feature you would normally get on laptops in this price point. It's something you'd appreciate when watching a show like this, where the costumes and sets are so intricate and detailed. Before going to bed, I couldn't help it. I still snuck in some writing for this video. The lights on the plane were already dim. Thankfully, the ErgoSense keyboard is backlit. Of course, I could have done more work. There was more than enough battery life for that, but I also needed to sleep. It was a 15 hour flight. All. As promised, battery life is impressive. Not only does it have a 70 watt hour capacity, this new Snapdragon X Elite delivers extended battery life compared to other laptops thanks to its more power efficient architecture. When you finally need to plug in, the VivoBook S15 comes bundled with a 90 watt fast charger. But when there are no sockets available, you can also use a power bank for top ups. Thin and light laptops usually come with compromises, like not having enough memory or storage. The MacBook Air, for example, starts at just eight gigabytes of RAM, which for everyday use, like browsing and checking your emails would normally suffice. The VivoBook S15, however, starts with 16 gigabytes of RAM with another configuration of 32 gigabytes. So say you're the type to run multiple apps all at the same time, maybe you dabble in photo editing every now and then, the Asus VivoBook S15 should be more than capable to handle it without lag. When it comes to storage, you get a sizable amount up to one terabyte and to deal with heat dissipation it's got asus's ice cool thermal technology which features up to two heat pipes two 97 blade fans and two vents for exhaust so your productivity and creativity don't take a hit also if you have a wi-fi 7 router like me the vivobook s15 supports it also so is the Asus VivoBook S15 your gadget match? At $12.99, it's a pretty good deal for what you're getting. It's got a gorgeous OLED display, super long battery life, lots of RAM, and lots of storage all in an understated and portable chassis. It's a great all-around Windows laptop for people who need a workhorse on the go. Windows users should be excited because Snapdragon X Elite and the Asus VivoBook S15 put Microsoft on a new path to take on the Mac. And that was our first look at the Asus VivoBook S15 powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we publish. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.